man. Uh, Florida, uh, Florida couple famous for over the top Christmas light display revealed to be squatters. Squatters. Okay. They're squatting at the home. Here we go. Okay. There's more to the story. Keep, keep going. A South Florida home that gained fame for its extravagant Christmas decorations has been discovered <laughs> to have been occupied illegally. Get this, for almost two decades. <laughs> it's so random. Two decades. What happened here? And you think everybody down south has money. Right. An investigation unveiled that Kathy Hyatt, oh. owner of the Hyatt Hotel. That's what I'm saying. Hey. No, I'm just kidding. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she could have just stayed in the hotel. <laughs> <was> like, <laughs> they were sick of the hotel room. <laughs> she is a realtor, though. Okay. Well. And her ex-husband, Mark, he passed away in 2020. They allegedly lived in the plantation Florida residence for 15 years as squatters. That doesn't make any sense. That is I, would, I would just assume years. based on the name of the subdivision, right. it's gated. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So, so the HOA, how they paying the HOA dues? So I, I th- uh, well, I'm not saying the media question. ever falsifies reports and stuff. <laughs> I'm not ever saying that. I would never say wow, that. Wow, look at those displays. That's a Christmas light display right there. Oh, yeah. You don't have to pay any money for a damn mortgage. You can spend it all on Christmas tree Day, lights. Davey, they win. If we're going to go buy that house this week, <laughs> they win. They get the award. Well, well she's standing. Maybe she's the real estate broker on the house and she just never showed it to anybody. Maybe. She's, That's she's, phenomenal. Is that a pocket list? That is great, but I they mean, win. And Dave, Dave, I mean, that's illegal. Here. Yeah. Chatter is here, so maybe we just go ahead and finish we this today. Oh, there today. you go. Okay. Yes, Save on gas. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> this is incredible, though. <laughs> There's a lot of crimes being committed here, I'll be honest with you. Really? Yeah, because we deal with squatters on a regular basis. Okay. Do you really? Yeah, I would say regular. We deal with them quite a few times a year. Where yeah, how big of a crime is that? You know, you watch some of the YouTube channels, and they're like, you can legally squat at a house for the rest of your life if you want to. Well, the sad thing is there is a process you got to go through, but there's an eviction process, which is usually up to 30 days. So there is, an illegal, there is a legal eviction, eviction process. Okay. You have to legally evict people who are illegally living in a home. So sad. Yes and no. So I mean, just basically, you know, it depends on, of course, the cir- every circumstance is different. But there are some ones that are actually squatting, going, "You, we have to legally ev- evict them from there." Because wow. there was some type of verbal agreement or some type of agreement. But with, for the most part, again, the squatters that we have now is they see the advertised house online, mm-hmm. they know it's vacant, and then they go ahead and just go ahead and move on in. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, there's a difference between breaking <clears throat> and entering. Of course, and then next thing you know, we just had a squatting uh, thing we worked out near Silverleaf, actually, uh, with a young couple that was actually squatting and they're selling dope from the house. Oh, no. And we, wow. did a, we did a search warrant, and luckily, because they went to jail, of course, that kind of is a quick eviction. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was nothing yeah. in the house. There was literally a rented couch and nothing else, and babies. They had two babies in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine this is a, There's more to this story, though. Jeez. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, I'm not saying the, the media minimize or minimize something, for goodness sakes. Well, they've been there for Or exaggerated. Forever. But, I mean, two decades. 15 years? That's yeah. wild. Yeah, something's up with that. Legal documents. Documents obtained from the Broward County Property Appraisers investigation revealed that uh, the absence of a title on the property, with evidence pointing to a uh, forged deed. Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here we yeah. go. We've seen cases where people are actually selling somebody else's property. Online. Have you heard these cases yeah, before? Yeah, we've had a couple yeah, here. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah. It's so it's horrible. It's going to get worse and worse with our with our um, media platform. Or with, I'm sorry, technology platforms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. yeah. 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 It's not offering AI solutions. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So let's see. The Broward County Property Appraiser's Office has imposed homestead exemption back taxes, <laughs> totaling thirty four thousand seven hundred and twenty four bucks against the property. Wow. Hmm. Huh. While the statute of limitation precludes criminal charges, the challenge now lies at determining the rightful owner of the home. I, but here's the funny thing. You know, it was a light bill. You saw the thing on. You just right. You right. Major They've light obviously bill. got electricity water and water or right. trash. Right. No. No one. Uh, no one. I, I, I don't know. Maybe they, had it, maybe they had somebody in every single Fictitious department. Fictitious living kind of thing. I don't know. Gotcha. That is weird how they could get away for that with that for so long. Ah, yeah, 15 years. And to be so flagrant about it with the lights, it's like, ha, 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 look at us. That's a, how yeah, I took that, the, yeah, the yeah. celebration. 